Hello from Amsterdam and welcome to a new episode of Need a Ride. Today I'm going to meet one of the most successful squash players of her time, Nicole David. So let's find out what it takes to always push yourself and become better and better at your own passion. Hey Nicole, need a ride? Sure, why not? Where do you need to go? Could you take me to Squash City, please? But before that, do you think you can stop by the Hala? I just need to get some food to eat. Sure, let's do that. So you've had an incredible career. Nine years world number one, eight world titles, five times the British Open. It's a really hard question probably, but what, what moment really sticks out? Winning the first world title when I'm 22, uh, having your dreams come true. What would you define as the toughest moment of your career? It's losing my number one position. I kind of felt that I lost my identity and I just got more frustrated. But in that moment, I grew up as a person and right now I'm so, so thrilled that I went through that process. What would your tips be to becoming the best uh, at what you love doing? I'm learning from your mistakes and also when you're at your lowest, uh, you learn more from those moments than actually when you're at your high. I don't actually think about winning because I always want to win but I then focus about the performance and if I perform well, the results will come. To be at the top, you have to find a motivation to push yourself further and further, putting your heart and soul into it and also motivating myself to improve. So uh, this is the Helen then? Yeah, let's get some food. <laughs> I really like it here because uh, all the food here, they actually have gourmet stalls. So how does a private day of Nicole David look like? Mostly if I have time, I like to find space to go for some dance classes. So after a dance class, I feel more free and relaxed on, on court. And then after that, I can eat again. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, and I can understand why we had to stop here on the way to Squash City. So what does uh, your private life hold for you now uh, after your retirement? Um, well, after my retirement, I'm going to set up my foundation back in Malaysia and focus on empowering girls through sport, specifically squash, because that's my expertise. Yeah. And I think Malaysia will benefit so much from more girls getting into sport. I'm very excited to share my knowledge. All right, here we are, Squash City. Let me help you get your bag. Thanks for showing me Amsterdam. It was a great ride. See you around. All the best. Aww. Thank you. Hello and welcome from Amsterdam. <laughs> what it takes to always push yourself to become, I know, I know. <laughs> today I'm going out, today I'm going out. Hello from, a <laughs> hello. Hello from Amsterdam. <laughs>